A content calendar is a really useful tool for any digital marketer. It helps to keep you organised and make sure you're never stuck for ideas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a content calendar using the task management software Todoist. Welcome to Not Another Marketing Channel. Don't forget to subscribe. You know where the button is. And don't forget to check out the podcast as well. It's called Not Another Marketing Podcast. Would you believe it, eh? The, the link for that is down below in the little notes section. You know where it is. It's interviews with lots of really interesting marketing people. So what is a content calendar? Well, it's a calendar full of lots of content, your social media posts, your blog posts. Look, the idea of a content calendar is that you stay organised and you're never stuck with ideas, right? So that you're not like posting something now. The thing that you're posting now, you created maybe last week or the week before. You're always planning ahead of yourself. And this is how a content calendar can keep you organised. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a content calendar using Todoist, which is a task management software, OK? But this system will work with any software that does the Kanban form of project management. It's basically the columns. You, if you've seen Trello or you've used Microsoft Planner and you've got those columns of tasks, this is what we're going to do with our content calendar. So let's get to it. We're going to build this content calendar using Todoist. OK, so this is my Todoist. On the left-hand side, you can see uh, stuff that's happening today and stuff that's happening upcoming and, and also a list of projects as well on the left-hand side. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a content calendar using Todoist. Really simple to set this up. The first thing you want to do is to add a new project. So head over to the left-hand side and click on Add Project. And we're going to call it, surprisingly, Content calendar there we go and we are going to select the board system okay so you get a choice you can have the view as list or board we're going to select board when we've done that we just click add so the first section we want to create is what i call a content bucket so we call this content bucket and we've got our first column, our first section. A content bucket is where you throw ideas, just lots and lots of ideas, even stupid ideas, ridiculous ideas. Just throw them all into the content bucket. If you're out and about, then load up the Todoist uh, mobile app and add your ideas into the content bucket when you're out and about. The content bucket is there just for ideas. And then you can take these ideas and maybe somebody else can take an idea and you can come up with a better idea from lots of different ideas. You know the, the, the idea. <laughs> yeah. So you're just throwing ideas for posts, for social media stuff, for blog posts and things into this content bucket and building it. And then you work from that to create your ideas. So the next section is going to be called Create. We type that in and we click Add section. The idea of the create column is this is where you actually build your blog posts and your social media posts. And we'll look at this in just a second. The next section we're going to call edit. Now, you might not want an edit section. If you're a freelancer, if you're just a small team, then it may be easy just to have the create column. But if you're dealing with a larger team and maybe you have one person who does editing, then you might want a separate column just for editing. OK, you might want another column for approvals. You might need to go through legal departments. You might need to get clients' approval on things. But everything in this column will be a social media post or a blog post that requires approval. Again, you might not need this column. You don't have to have it. It's kind of like an option. And then we have another column which is called Ready to Publish. It's ready to publish. We finished it. We got it approved. It's all ready to go. Social media post, blog post, whatever it is, YouTube video, it's ready to go. And that is all you need. So I'm going to hide this left hand column so we can see the whole thing now. We've got a content bucket, we've got to create, we've got to edit, we've got approval, we've got ready to publish. We're ready to go with our content calendar. OK, let's walk through our content calendar and how it actually works, kind of like in real life. In the left hand column, I got some ideas. How about a YouTube video on content calendars? 
Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, we've also got another brilliant idea as well in there. And we have an amazing idea. So what I'm going to do is uh, use a blog post, which I had on my blog, which was called Better Email Marketing. It was an email marketing course called Better Email Marketing. It's on my blog, if you want to go and have a look at it, at jtid.co.uk. There's the plug. Right, so I'm going to add task, and we're going to do Better Email Marketing Blog. And it's there. Okay, so this little block here is our blog post. Could be a social media post. Could be any type of content. This is it. And this is the idea. It's in the content bucket. This content bucket should be full to bursting with ideas. And then when you start working on it, you can move this block here to your create column. Ta-da! So that everything in this create column is what you're working on right now. So when I click on this little block, it opens up and it gives me more functionality. So what I can do is I can add subtasks to it. So we could say, um, write about subject lines, write about preview text, uh, body of email and so on. You get the gist. So we can have an idea on what we need to write about within this blog post. We also get the chance to be able to add files and images and also leave comments. And I use this quite a bit. So I'm going to add an image here. So from my computer, I'm going to add an image which I want to use for the actual blog post itself when it's live on my website. So this image is now kind of self-contained within this little block so that everything we need to create this blog post is going to be in this little block here. And another file I'm going to add is a Word document because this is where I'm writing the actual blog post. And we're going to add that as well. So better email marketing doc. Everything I need to create this blog post is now within this little card, within this little block. We can also add comments as well. So if you have your team connected to Todoist, they can leave comments and say things like, it's rubbish. I'm sure they wouldn't, no. But you get the idea. Different people can leave comments. Maybe maybe we should change the image and use a different type of image for this blog post. Different people can collaborate on an individual blog post. So you can see within the create column, everything is contained in this little block. If I just close this down, there it is. There's my little block. It says we've got three little subtasks and we've got three little comments. On We click on it again and we can see what we've got to write about. We can see uh, the Word document where we're writing this blog post and we can see the image for the actual uh, blog post uh, there. All very simple, all very straightforward. It's completely self-contained. Now imagine that you've got four or five different ideas all on the go at one time. It's all there in your create column. So when you've finished creating it and you've written it and it's ready to go, you can then move and drag your little uh, blog post over to the edit column. So everything in here will be ready to edit. Now this works particularly well if you're working in a team and one person is assigned as kind of like the spelling person and the grammar person and they check everybody's work for them. There's usually one person who's really good at spelling and grammar and they get that job. So they can just head straight into the content calendar. They can see everything that needs editing. They can edit it. They can change things if they need to and then it gets moved moved to the approval column. Now this is where you can actually start sending this content out to clients or you can get legal department or a supervisor or whatever it is to check the uh, content that you've created. It could be social media posts, blog posts, anything at all, and they approve it. And then once you get that approval back, you can then move it to the ready to publish column. Now the really cool thing about Todoist is that you can add dates to this content, these little blocks. So we can open this up and we can schedule it for a certain date. So let's say we want to schedule this to go on, let's try, ooh, what should we do, October 
the 16th. So I'm going to set that for October the 16th and it's ready to go. So we can take an instant look in our ready to publish column and we can see everything about that blog post. We can get the content, we can see when it's when it's ready to publish, we can see the date it needs to go out on, and then we can check this ready to publish column every day and see when we need to publish things. And hopefully this makes the creation of content for your website, for social media, an awful lot easier. Now once you've actually published the item, you can literally just check it off. So we just click that, it's completed, and it's done. It's in the completed section. If you need to see the completed section, then all you do is you click on the show completed tasks and it appears like so. And then we can hide the completed tasks and it disappears. So you can see what you've published in the past and you can also see what needs to be published in the future. Content calendars are great. They really do help save you time and save you effort and keep you organised because if you're a freelancer or you're a small marketing agency, you're going to be creating an awful lot of content for multiple clients, for oh, for multiple platforms, for all sorts of different... The whole world of digital marketing is just content and we need to have it organised. We can't just be turning up to Twitter or, or YouTube or whatever it is and thinking to ourselves, right, oh, I've got to post something, what should we post about and just do it off the cuff instantly, straight away. We need to plan things out, especially if you're running a lot of campaigns. And this is a great way and a really simple way to be able to manage your content. Remember the content bucket. That is really important, I think, because there's no such thing as a bad idea. You can just throw all the ideas in there and other people may feed off some of those ideas and create really brilliant ideas. So make sure you have a content bucket. And then edit the rest of it to match your workflow and what you need. Like I said before, you might not need an edit column. You might not need an approval column. OK, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Have a go with the content calendar. Like I said, I'm using Todoist to create this content calendar, Trello, Microsoft Planner, any sort of software that gives you the ability to be able to have columns and drag things from one column to another column to another column so you know where you are. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You know where the button is. Check out the podcast and not another marketing podcast. It's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts as well. That's a new thing. Uh, it's everywhere. So check that out and also check lots of links down below where you can go to Todoist, which is todoist.com, and you can sign up and you can try this out and see if it works for you. Thanks for watching.